Start on the men's side, um, coming in one of the top teams in the country all year, so it's regionals is a, a little bit of a preempt for nationals where you, know, you guys have higher expectations, but what does this meet do for you guys and what is your expectation heading into this meet? Yeah, well, uh, it's kind of a dual meet this year between us and Iona, I think. I mean, there's some other good teams in there and we'll try to win. It's not essential that we win. We're pretty much in at nationals on the men's side, but it's a good momentum builder and uh, it's a really good last workout before nationals. Speaking of momentum, uh, ACC's is probably your guys' best meet so far this year with a real dominating performance, uh, a couple of disappointments on the men's side before that. Uh, what's it like at this point knowing that you're coming off of one of your best meets and you maybe have that momentum heading into the championship portion of your season? Yeah, it feels good right now um, to get that momentum at ACC's and to uh, have that low score that we had and five guys in the top nine. I think we've got our confidence back, got a momentum, got a little karma on our side, I hope. Uh, it all feels really good right now, really healthy. Uh, at this point, also, you, most grueling portion of the schedule, you guys go 10K, 10K on the men's side. Uh, a lot of guys say that you know the 10K is what you guys do, and you guys think you run a little better at this distance. Uh, do you feel the same way? And then what are some things maybe you guys are doing at this point in the season to make sure you're fresh with that one-week turnaround? Yeah, well, we won't do really anything after regionals until nationals, so that's basically eight days of light running. And our workout, Monday of this week was really light so they are really gonna have seven or eight days going into this and seven or eight days going into national so we're doing nothing to get tired you know we're trying to have really fresh legs the freshest legs of the season and we like to think that we're built for 10k switching over to the women's side the regional meets a little more important for them uh, what's your expectation like and where and what do you feel uh, they're doing right now heading into this meet yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, we've got some good momentum on the women's side since conference. Conference was okay, fifth place. Um, but the workouts since then have been really, really good. We've got a little bit healthier. Um, Maddie Davidson was having some troubles in the middle of the season, and she really looks like she's coming around. Mary Malone is running really well, and if Sydney and Shannon can step up a little bit, I really feel like the, the girls are going to make nationals and uh, probably have our best meet this weekend. You mentioned uh, some names that had really good performances. Mary is one of the people that, you know, she was our the, the second best finisher for uh, on our side at ACC's, and then Paige obviously had another good ACC run as well. Uh, how do you feel like the top end of that roster is doing right now at this point in the season? Well, we know that um, Paige is going to run well. She's been consistent all year, and she'll do a great job, and we believe that Maddie can run with Paige or close to her. So if that happens, our path to Nationals gets a little bit clearer. Um, you know, we got to... We beat a couple teams we haven't beat this year, but I do think we're running better than we have.